Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to another Let's Play of Civilization V. Yeah, so it's been a while, and this is going to be the uh, marathon game, so I uh, took a vote on Facebook, and the winner with 20 votes was... Where are they? There they are. The Iroquois. So, um, seeing as it was a sieve that I had yet to play, I thought, what the heck. And of course, that after I decided to do it, that's right when I realized that seeing as I'm doing a marathon game and I haven't played as Greece yet, I probably should play as them, but whatever. We're going to play as the air car. We're going to play Continents Plus Map, uh, huge King Difficulty. Um, low C level, legendary start, as normal. And the only victories that are currently on are time and domination. And this is so that, you know, we can kind of balance out everything. Because I usually end up having to feel like to rush a victory. And I really kind of takes the enjoyability of the game. So if I don't feel like I'm going to lose anytime soon, I'm much more willing to keep playing. So, time and domination victory. It'll be interesting. So let's begin. Greetings, noble Hiawatha, leader of the mighty Iroquois nations. Long have your people lived near the great and holy Lake Ontario in the land that has come to be known as New York State in North America. In the midst of antiquity, the five peoples, Seneca, Onondaga, Mohawks, Cayuga, and Oneida, united into one nation, the Haudenosaunee the Iroquois. With no written language, the wise men of your nation created the great law of peace, the model for many constitutions, including that of the United States. For many years, your people battled great enemies, the Huron and the French and English invaders. Though outnumbered and facing weapons far advanced from the ones your warriors wielded, the Iroquois survived and prospered until they were finally overwhelmed by the mighty armies of the new United States. O oh, noble Hiawatha, listen to the cries of your people. They call out to you to lead them in peace and in war, to rebuild the great longhouse and unite the tribes once again. Will you accept this challenge, great leader? Will you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Okay, so our special ability is the Great War Path. Units move through forest and jungle in friendly ter ter uh, territory as if it is a road. These tiles can be used to establish trade routes upon researching the wheel. That's quite interesting. That can help, like, unit maintenance. I can, like, build roads, like, only in places that absolutely need them. Um, but it's not amazing. There are a lot of other civs that have better uh, special abilities. We also have the Mohawk Warrior, which is a strong frontline, you know, the classical era. Um, it receives a bonus on fighting force in jungle, unlike the swordsman. Okay, and then we have the longhouse. It's plus one production from each work tile. Wow, I did not realize they had that. That actually sounds really good. It gives two base production. Let me actually, oh wow. Legendary start for the win. Okay. Long house. Okay, it does replace the workshop. Um, who is a ten percent bonus? That's debatable. That really is. That just means we like we want to keep forests around. But anyway, this is a great start. There is decent amounts of flat terrain. We have two different luxury resources, and we have four of one that I can see. And we also have a nice river right here to give me nice gold, as well as extra production later on. Uh, we have multiple stone, which is great. This isn't a plains, which means I can get the stone works, which will boost my production even further, which is great. Yeah, plop her down. And we can see... No Why can't you move through that one? Oh, right, it's not in my territory. Choose production. Go with the monument. 
And I believe the turns are, it goes 500 for standard, 750 for marathon, and 1500 for uh, mar er, marathon. For epic, it's 750. I think I said marathon, which was incorrect. Uh, so it's basically everything's three times longer, so it's going to be three times as much. We're going to go for riding, uh, grab animal husbandry, then the wheel. Actually, no. Riding, calendar, animal husbandry, the wheel, uh, mining, mathematics. turns for growth is really fast though. It's five turn growth otherwise. Excellent. Hopefully we'll get something nice and it's 75 culture. Makes sense. Three times. Another river down here. It looks like a possible city location. Right next to the hill with the mountain with all the hills surrounding. Seventy-five gold? That's not bad. Oh, I like this area. for that last time or something. Advanced technology? The clay, oh, too bad I was already food. working on that. But yes, pottery would be nice because it does slingshot me. It would be nice to get something I wasn't working on because then that saves me my science. I get a free tech. And I don't have to work on it later. But I will always take a free tech. It'll also give me a bit of a head start on the great library, which will be nice. Which I do want, because I have a few... If, to me, it feels like the earlier you have a tech, the better. Um, in the longer pace games. Uh, how much would a scout cost? 320. I really shouldn't buy that. I should buy either a worker or a seller. I just go for a quick expansion. to get a worker as quickly as possible because a lot of these tiles would be nice but I still need the text for them so there's no huge rush um, I would build a shrine next though that would be my next priority and then probably a granary if I have the time nearby barbarian encampments well that's useless so if I were to guess I'd say we're in Asia Pro oh, what am I thinking? Asia? It's continent. It's not an. It's not an Earth map. I played an Earth map last time, and I was thinking Earth map for this game. But since I played an Earth map last time, it's not the case. So, derp. I'm kind of tired, in all honesty. But whatever. Hey, I'm not in last place. How does that work? I'm not that far from first either, I guess. But. Still second to the last place. More weapons, eh? I hate that because then they lose a turn and I could do without a better unit because at this point it's not that impressive. You only gain like a little bit more strength.
natural wonder. So that would be good to go and claim. So it looks like here, here, yeah. And then over here, get some dice. I do think expanding relatively quickly would be in my best interest. Okay, so by turn 24, someone's already got it. What was it? Oh, that's not very good. Map of the surrounding area. Show me another ruin and all is forgiven. Nope. Question is, do I build a shrine or do I build a scout next? I think a scout, actually. Shouldn't take too long to build that. And then I can explore more and maybe get better bonuses from, like, ruins and stuff. Let's go north. Then I'll build a shrine, get some faith going, and then I will build. I really want to build a worker but getting it that early kind of messed me up. Приветствую. Great, you, the crazy lady. Someone's doing insanely well. What the heck? They must already have a second city. Don't ask me how. I don't have like a policy yet. Moscow size 2. I'm size 3, so. Ha ha ha. We can find a couple more ruins. 
I would like to get like a free pop and a boost in like culture, possibly a faith drop. Another tech would be lovely, but that's a little bit much to hope for, I think. Hmm. There might be something up here still, because I don't think anyone would have spawned up here. I'm probably in like the middle of a bunch of people, which is not making me feel very confident. Another pantheon's been founded. Stone circles! Darn it. That would have been a good one for me. Man truffles. They demanded, do they? Getting six gold per turn, which is quite nice. Policy, tradition, double my culture. Yes. 17 turns to the next policy. Not bad. What do I at 17? Oh, is it just like the leftover kind of messing up the No. Hmm. Shrine. Oh, wow, we're next to the water. That's good. Phew. Load off my mind. Less to protect. He who destroys... Let's not do this. Uh, how much would it cost me to buy a worker? 700. Seven bloody hundred. That is just great. Yes, ruins. Heck, I'll even take gold at this point. Actually, a lot of gold would be nice, because I get a settler, I could get, like... Oh, why didn't I fire on you? Gosh darn it. Sixty culture! Heck yes! That will also help me get a settler. Or, a uh, worker more quickly. Alright, we're at turn 50. Let's look at our demographics. Since we're now a 30th into the game, I have the most land. Not really surprising because I kind of rush for culture. I'm third place. Someone already has nine techs? What? Well, nine percentage points in techs. I have like, what, two? I have four. So they probably have like three techs. So they're only a tech ahead of me, I guess. Someone doesn't even have a tech yet? How does that work? Okay, well, I'm going to cut the video off here. So, thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.